Hey guys, welcome to your channel. In this video, you'll learn on how to create horizontal scroll animation on Wix Studio. So the first thing that we should do here is to add three different sections. So for the first section, I'm going to change the color of this one. Okay, so I will be using this color. Then what we're going to do next is to add our second section and then add a new one. Okay, so that's right. And then for the third section, I'm going to change the color to color pink. Okay, so let me just go and click on the color. And I think I'm just going to use the color green. Okay, so this one is better. Then what we're going to do next is to click on the second section. Okay, so let me just go back to the second section. Then here, just have to open this settings and then make sure to toggle on the advanced settings. And then for the height, is we are going to type out right here 300 VH. So the VH stands for viewpoint height. Then the next thing that we have to do is to change this into CSS grid. Okay, so click on apply CSS grid after that. And then we just have to change it to 1 by 3. Okay, so just click on the 1 by 3 option. Next is we are going to change the dimension to viewport height because we have set the U section height to 300 VH and it will automatically divide it into 100 VH each. So next thing that we should do is we're going to use the first section of the grid for our animation element. Now you can use any element that you like, just tuck them together and you can use that for the horizontal scroll animation. So here I'm, I can add different elements like um, images or title, text, even buttons and what you're going to do next is you just have to stack them together so that is for the first option but for the next one is we can use of course the layout tools okay so let me just click on the add elements option once again and i'm just going to remove this first option so here you just go to the layout tools and here we have the advanced so we're going to use the flex boxes and i am going to use this flex box so once you selected this one, all you have to do is to drag it right here at the top left. Okay, and then here we can add items. You can, you can add as many items as you wish. Then go right here and then change the width to 200 VH. So this represented to viewport height. Okay, and then you just have to close this one. And then make sure to equalize the items so that the dimensions are equal. So this is for the horizontal scroll animation. Now you can go ahead and assign each element one by one. So there are two ways to do this. So you can either go to this item one by one and then you can click on the add media option. So let me just add a few media right here. So for the first item, I'm just going to add this image from Rix. Okay, and then for the third item, I am going to click on it again and then just click on the add media option. Right here, you can upload your own media or use media from Wix. Okay, so I'm just going to add two different items. I mean two different media for these items. And then next is for the second method is we can actually use the layers to add media. Okay, so to do that, you just have to simply click on the layers icon. So this one below the add elements. And then go to the flex box. We just have to expand this one. Then here, you can drag and drop the element that you want to add in media at the very top. So you can customize it or add in media. Now it's time to add the trigger for the animation. And the trigger will be added into the second grid. So for the trigger, you can use any element you like. And I am going to use maybe vertical lines or containers. So personally, I can recommend the vertical lines. But for this video, I'm going to use the container. So you just have to go to the container section, add it to your right. And then here, make sure the container is in the second grid. So you can go to the grid here and then change the location like this. 
Okay, so to make sure, just click on this grid right here and then go to the second section. Okay, so use the middle section or the middle grid. Then once you're done with that, just have to stretch the container and then set the right margin because this is just a trigger, so we don't need it across the entire section. So let us also change its color. So let me just adjust the right margin first. Okay, so when you do that, as you can see right here, the container has been placed at the very left. Okay, so the purpose of this one, this would be the trigger of our animation. So I'm just going to change the color. Okay, so you can use any color that you want. And now for the horizontal scroll effect in Wix Studio. So it is very important, just the trigger of the animation. So just go here to the animation and effects and go to the scroll section. And for the animated element, we have to make sure that we are using the flex box. Okay, so since this is a trigger, so we are going to use the flex box for the animated element. Okay, so once you've done that, the next thing that we should do is to choose the animation type. Okay, so for the animation type, as you can see right here, I don't know why, but the available is the in and out animation. So I'm just going to use in. Then after that, right here, I'm just going to use the move animation. So the next thing is we are going to adjust the angle. So just click on the adjust option right here change this to 270 degrees and then for the distance we will need 100 vw so the reason why you are using 100 and not 200 because the width of the flex box is 200 and because the 100 vw is already in the viewport what we want to bring to our screen is the element the flex box items so which are hidden so you know also the viewport and that is why we are only using the 100. So now the animation area will be 0 to 100%. So you just have to go here after setting up your angle and your distance. So you just go here to this animation section and then change this to 0 to 100%. Okay, so let us close this one. And now for the most important thing is to set its position type to sticky. So to do that, just go to the section right here and then you just have to scroll down and look for the position type and then you just have to click on the sticky option. Okay, so once then, I'm just going to preview this one. So just click on the preview option. So when we scroll down, as you can see, we have successfully created our horizontal scroll animation in Wix Studio. So that's it for this video. If you think this video helped you solve your concern, please subscribe, like this video, and leave your comment below. Bye!